Hi, everybody. This is Sam McDonald with Redica Systems. I wanted to talk a little bit today about how we help pharma and biopharma clients. We're very fortunate to work with small virtual pharma companies up to some of the biggest names in the world and everybody in between. Now, we focus on a few key areas, and that's helping you reduce compliance risk, save time, energy, and money by cutting through the noise, searching and finding the most impactful and relevant information to you, ultimately helping you improve product quality. Today, we're gonna to take a brief look at the platform. And if you scroll further down on this page, you can dive into each one of the use cases, understanding regulatory changes, guidances and updates, helping monitor your vendors and your supply chain, as well as being inspection ready. Let's take a look. I want you to take note of the sheer amount of data that we have in our platform. 917,000 inspections, 62,000 documents, things like 43s, 43 responses, EIRs, and warning letters. 141,000 searchable observations that we've pulled out of those 43s, as well as 257,000 inspections with an associated reason. Was it a pre-approval? Was it routine or was it for a cause? Now let's start by staying up to date on the changes to regulations and guidances. This is the last 30 days of signals from around the globe in the top 10 pharma agencies. We can see where those updates are coming from, how it's changed week over week, as well as those signals that are published based on the industry, as well as the scope. And all of this can be filtered to get down to the information that's important to you. Same thing goes when we start to think about looking at 43s. In the last two years, there've been over 2,000 43s. We can see where those inspections are taking place the reason, the outcome, the OAI versus VAI, as well as the top CFR citations, as well as drilling into the six parts of the quality system and really getting an understanding of what the FDA is looking for. Now you can use this to monitor your peers, your clients, and of course, your supply chain. Lastly, we can look at a particular FDA investigator. In this case, Peter Baker and his profile. 159 inspections, and nearly 86% 43% issuance rate, 33% OAI, and 22% warning letter. Same mindset applies. Where are those inspections taking place? What are they in regards to the scope? And what sort of metrics do we have? We're really looking forward to working with you and your team. Let us know if you have any questions, and hopefully we'll talk soon. Thanks.